Once my the sweet liberty sows its seed at Farm Point Farms. Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Far Point Farms here in the mountains, North Carolina. Tonight I wanted to show you how you can take your own computer, an old laptop or a computer you're using every single day, you can install a very small program on it and you can run your own website. You can have your own social media empire without a whole lot of technological knowledge. I have none, and yet I run a social media empire, right? In other videos, I've shown you how I run a radio station. I run an online internet radio station as well. And I also run what's called a BBS, a bulletin board system. I'll leave links to those videos down below. But tonight I wanted to show you something that I totally did not even mention in the first video that I made about those programs. Synchronet, the BBS program that I use, when you set that up on your laptop, when you open that up and you install it and you go, you're going to have forms, right? You're going to have the ability to network topics so you can talk with people all around the world and people can also go to your, your BBS using a synchro term which are, or sync term, which is a specialized program. So we talked about that and I don't want to lose you on all that high-tech conversation, but what I do want to show you is for those of you who are not interested in adding sync term and you you know the the population is just not really willing to use ancient technology to read uh, message bases and transfer files synchronet has the ability to, to use a website you can type in the same address the midnight cafe dot ddns dot uh net <laughs> sorry i had to think about that one and you will go you do that right in your browser and boom you're going to go to a very primitive but very functional website you can send emails, you can send messages, you can receive both, you can even transfer files back and forth. So I'm going to stop the camera, I'm going to load up a program called Screencast-O-Matic or something like that, and I'm going to show you on my computer how easy it is to log in. Now why would you want to do this? Well, there's a lot of mainstream websites right now that are kind of de personing people? I don't know what you want to call it, but certain ideas and certain groups of people are kind of no longer wanted online, aren't they? Right? We're having ourselves, we're not having the conversations being molded, the conversations being shaped. It's really being boxed in is what it's being. And it's really uh, sickening uh, for true Americans, real Americans, to think that they're doing this to us. And there's a large portion of the population that either doesn't care or is actually sickly cheering it on. So uh, if you find yourself on a platform and you find yourself no longer able to say the things you want to say or do the things you want to do or express yourself the way that the First Amendment guarantees you are allowed to do so, perhaps the idea here is that you could just set up this program, which is free, by the way, very small, takes about 15 to 20 minutes to set up. You could create some forms for people to talk about on topics that you find interesting and poof, you're done. You now have a website and a BBS. You could go to the website and do all the things that you want to do that you can't do on other people's forms. So let's take a look. All right, so here we are over on a computer. This is just any computer you can think of. This happens to be my shop computer. And again, the website's not running off of this. It's running off that old CF29 single core Panasonic. Damn, getting ready to upgrade. But uh, for right now, it's just what it is. So what we have here is just your regular old Windows. I think this is Windows 7, I think. Anyway. And before I go into showing you just how the web service works, let me show you. If you want to get into a BBS, and I think I've covered this slightly in the other video, but you're going to download a simple program called Sync Term, Term and I will leave a link to that down in the description below. Click on that, and well, look at this. This is it. It already has a directory of many, 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 many different BBSs that are out there. You click on that. You so and you'll see. Like I said, it looks looks like a looks like you know <laughs> looks like DOS to me, right? So we'll go ahead and click one. It's going to ask some stuff. I can see. We'll log in as a guest. So there it is, right? So here it is. It's our stuff. And there's menus and there's all kinds of stuff you can do on DOS-based BBSs or what looks like DOS-based BBSs. And you can see this is what we have. This is a Synchronet BBS, in fact, but it's just... It's just what it looks like in its native form. But for a lot of y'all, you just don't want to use that stuff. And I get it, man. Like, you're looking at a pretty limited off uh, pool of people if you use a program like that. So just eh, let's get rid of that. All right. What we do want to do is go right into good old-fashioned Google. And we'll go into Google here. And uh, I'm just going to type in the Midnight Cafe dot ddns.net and that's the address of my bbs but 
you'll notice we're not in a telnet server they're just typing it into a web address and why golly gee willikers look at what we have here so we have some choices this is literally your web page that you set up without even realizing it. it took all of what 15 minutes from start to finish when you install Synchronet and we have some choices you can inside of your web page connect versus via telnet let's go ahead and do that and I'll show you hey look at this it's like that exact program inside of well just inside of a web page but we don't want to use that I want to I want to use it just like I would if it was just going to use um, the website so I'm gonna type in mad dog oops and I'm gonna use my password here which is super super simple because I don't care if anything weird were to happen All right there we go I mean there's literally nothing private on this system in fact the entire laptop if somebody were to hack into it well they would be really bored because other than the software to run the radio station and the files related to that and the software to run the BBS and this website well they wouldn't find a whole lot of anything and what we see here is recent visitors I've been doing some work today I was actually uploading files and uh, location the mountains of the north you know the mountains of North Carolina my psyops is North Star my old CB handle four people can log in simultaneously we got 31 users 122 people have called it's only been up for 19 hours I did return to set the computer because I was having problems with the shoutcast server actually three people have graciously called this website today and there's 26 files there's actually a couple couple of new files 11,000 messages but up here we have our simple little file and it, it just works guys check it out midnight cafe if I go home well here I am right back here but if, this is what I want to show you how easy it is to step away from hosting your website on somebody else's platform where you could be deplatformed, depersonized, right? Well, now you just set it up, and the next thing you know, what you got here is all kinds of cool news, right? Midnight Cafe chat, vintage computer chat, the paranormal side. You can change these to suit your needs. You can just pretty much do anything. Let's go to Coast to Coast here. Huh? Look at that. And we have our messages here. Here's some from me. There's some from someone else. There's old Rock and Woody. Haven't heard from him in a couple of years now. And, you know, if I wanted to add a new message, well, I just type it here, and I could type it to one person, or I could type it to all. Oops, I think I hit the cap locks. That's okay. Coast to coast is still okay. I still like it. That's it. Hit submit, and it becomes part of the program. Dude, this is literally like any other form you're going to come across on the internet in fact I feel like it's a little easier so it's it's there for you you've got the message boards you've got the way to do a poll here so you could question people you have a scan for messages just to yourself so if you're coming back on one of these networked forms um, it gets a little bit hairy because there's just so many messages so you have a will ability to do that and let's go back and I'll show you what I mean about now so you'll see we're back here and it's local local means this and they're showing me hey there's a new message that happens to be the one I just posted DoveNet is a networked thing that means hundreds um, possibly thousands of BBS's around the world that's individual laptops or computers around the world that run this software are all linked to this network and so you can trade comments and information with people who don't call into the midnight cafe but they call in somewhere else there are tons more of these networks I haven't installed any because I haven't felt the need but I am going to install Fidonet and probably add a couple of Usenet if you're old enough to remember Usenet I'll be adding that as well so there'll be comment sections you can get in there Dubnet huge place man check this out we'll go into Dubnet and you'll see what I mean there's like it's just massive there's there's uh, thousands of messages and probably you know several hundred new ones every single day general conversation well there's 900 since the last uh, just yesterday advertisements for other sites entertainment information debate information this one ham radio stuff this is linked so there's tons of conversations here uh, that are you know older ham radio info and so you can get in on that conversation as well pretty darn cool if I do say so myself so those are your forms just like any you know your WordPress or I don't know I'm like I said I could not build you a website I would have to put it on somebody else's server I would have to buy somebody else's software and then of course I'm agreeing to their terms and conditions when I do so to use this program I am the term and condition so I love it files yes there's tons of files 
that you can upload and download off of these things. And so mine uh, just being Art Bell stuff, Coast to Coast stuff, Midnight Cafe, there's a couple episodes and some special stuff in there. 1670, a couple of pictures, I believe. Some random MP3 files, UFO photos, Bigfoot files. There's other um, there's other file sections to this that are just locked off. I, I don't have all this. And it's just personal stuff for me to be able to transfer back and forth. So if you're thinking of what you want to use this for, maybe you want to make this a personal server for yourself. And that is certainly something you can do. Access uh, not granted to anyone. Just give yourself a single password and you can have a file server that you can access those files anywhere you like. Pretty darn cool. Heck, there's even games. Check it out. <laughs> and so uh, I don't know what these games are because I've never played them, but there's all these different games. There's all kinds of weird ones. Star Trek looks like. So there's some games and there's also in the main section there you do have and I've been using these they actually work pretty well. Amateur radio ham operator test. That's pretty cool. And there's some other stuff that you can do. You can add uh, a sync wall files and stuff like that. So there's all kinds of neat stuff man. It really is kind of a cool thing. And of course there's even more stuff. We can have a user list and check it out. Oh there's me. There's my other account. There's old Rock and Woody. And then we have a bunch of people. Hey I don't know Marky Shaw. He's the dude that wrote and produced and sang in my awesome uh, song, the theme song for the Farpoint Farms. Look at all these folks. So there's people that come and go and check out the site. Hopefully you'll be one too. That's that's it. Um, I'm going to go back to the homepage and just wrap this up with this thought. Why would you want to do this? You know, I mean, it's just that I hear people complain and I hear people worried, and rightfully so that they're worried, that things are changing, right? We are being depersoned off of the Internet if our ideas don't jive with the ideas that we're supposed to, we're being conditioned to uh, care about. Well, I have my own ideas. I have my own uh, thoughts. And little by little, the things that you would think, well, they would never care about that, they're suddenly caring about. I love a good conspiracy theory. I love uh, Art Bell. I love Coast to Coast. I love talking about the paranormal, the abnormal, uh, and just like the secrets that the world has. Do I believe 99% of what I talk about or what I want to read about? No, but I firmly believe that I should have the right to look it up and check it out and investigate it if I want to. And I also believe you should too. So if you're worried about being on someone else's platform and finding yourself suddenly silenced when what was totally normal last month becomes totally not normal this month, this is a way to just say, you know what, I don't need a billionaire telling me what I can and cannot say. The First Amendment says I can say all of it, and I'm going to do so by building my own little temple, my own little creation, my own little world. Synchronet does that for you, and I know in the last video I focused mostly on that DOS-based aspect, and it does have a bit of a learning curve, but setting this thing up 15 minutes at most, and you are ready with your own website hosted on your own computer to enter the world and invite people on to discuss things that you care about. That's going to wrap it up, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have spent some time over the last three or four years talking about alternative forms of communication. This one, I felt, deserved a second look because I just never really talked about the fact that this was a part of it. Anyway, that'll do it for today, my friends. You can always check it out. Please feel free to uh, leave comments and ask questions down below. I'll do my best to help. I am not tech savvy. I don't really know what's going on around here, but I definitely, definitely, definitely try and will continue to try to help you out in your search to find the information you want to find. Take care.